How are we doing guys? McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. It is Wednesday night, um, half past seven on Wednesday night, uh, which means new team of the week um, and hopefully a new Silver Stars as well. Anything else other than that is not really expected but is very, very much welcomed. Um, obviously it is St Patrick's Day and from what I remember last year we did actually get some content on St Patrick's Day so that would be ideal. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. Um, so I'm just going to load up Ultimate Team as we go and we'll see what we have. Um, obviously, in regards to Team of the Week, there it is right there. And I'm absolutely stunned to see that there is not a Messi, that there is not a Benzema and there is not a Ronaldo. Um, Ronaldo scored um, a hat-trick, I believe. Um, could be wrong with that, but he definitely played well at the weekend. Um, Benzema scored two, I believe, and Messi, I think, scored two as well. Um, absolutely insane how they are not on Team of the Week. I'm very, very confused. So, content, guys. Start off with objectives. As I said, Silver Stars. Aiden McGeady, um completing Silver Lounge to earn moments. McGeady, recognising his four assists in one game versus Doncaster. All rewards are untradeable, fair enough. Um, actually looks not a bad card on the face it guys um, for obviously you need to remember he is a Silver Stars card so that's probably coming in at maybe an 85 or 86 rated gold card for Silver Stars so we'll have a look at him the Silver Beasts are back with uh, a rare mega pack it's just the usual score 10 goals a Silver Team of the Week player assist 8 goals with Silver players win 5 squad battles or rivals matches with 11 Silvers in your starting squad and score 3 goals with a Silver player in 3 separate squad battles matches which is no too bad for a rare mega pack, is actually alright. And I think that the weekend plus is exactly the, exactly the reason why there is not a Messi, Benzema or Ronaldo in the team of the week. Um, this was released last night. Um, obviously, i never done a video last night, I don't believe you what I remember, because um, there wasn't much content last night. In fact, I, don't, I didn't do a video, there wasn't any content last night. But... This is the reason why Team of the Week isn't they too great because obviously people who are playing elite level 23 wins or even just the 22 wins they're going to get an extra three red player pick packs and that basically gives people a chance or maybe a chance if Ronaldo Messi and Benzema were in the Team of the Week it gives them a chance to get the cards so that is the reason why now I don't know as I said this was released before Team of the Week was released tonight so I don't know if they've put this out and then they've, they've said to themselves, oh, we maybe need to change the team of the week, or they already decided on the team of the week before they put this out, I don't know. Um, but I just think it's very, very terrible. Ronaldo did score a hat-trick, I'm so sure of that. So how can you justify Ronaldo not being in team of the week when he scored a hat-trick? I just don't get it. And basically that is the reason why. If they bring, like, I think he's a latest in form would be a 96. If you had a 96 Ronaldo in team of the week and people were playing weekend league plus... There's a chance of getting him. Do you know what I mean? He only just going to give that card out. Um, so it's, it's absolutely crazy, guys. I didn't play champs at the weekend because I was so, so busy. And I just basically wanted a weekend after to complete objectives. I completed Pastoria. I completed Neves. And looking at that team of the week, guys, I'm so glad that I didn't play. I didn't stress myself out to even to, to consider getting or who to consider getting for this team of the week. I just think it's absolutely rubbish. But anyway... Week 5 silver is there, blah, 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 blah. I've already completed the season progress, guys. We completed it yesterday. We did take the Shelio, uh, the Skelio, or whatever you want to call the guy. He's actually a very, very good card. Four star, four star. Very good pace, very nice passing and dribbling for a, for a right back. And defending and physicals are very good with the anchor or shadow chem style, guys. So that would be my recommendation. I believe that when we did look at this season, I think it's season 4, um, when we looked at this, when it did drop, I believe that the Shilio was the guy that I, that I recommended to go for. Um, so I have took the Shilio guys, but um, I forgot to check milestones there. Pfft, just as well. So in terms of milestones, St. Patrick's Day Foundations. I kind of like this idea, man. Like, Why could they not give Mary this, though? Like, why why, why could they not give... Like, this is great. It's absolutely great, but why no day Mary? Why, why no... Why no day Mary? Why, like, for me, for example, I'm Scottish. Why no give us a St Andrews day one and make it for three Scottish three Scottish players? Do you know what I mean? Or, um, like, the Chinese ones. Like, the Chinese ones have got a new year, basically, when nobody else has got a new year. So why no give them a squad foundation? Um, I'm trying to think of other ones, like maybe Independence Day for America. Why no give them ones? 
Do you know what I mean? So I just feel like days of the year could could be used could be used in here. Well, that's what they have started today. So why why no gears mail though? Do you know what I mean? But anyway, Shamrock scorers score ten goals. Managerial masterpiece, man. Why does it need to be in managerial masterpiece? But anyway, score ten goals using Republic Ireland players in the life friendly managerial masterpiece with four Irish players in your starting squad. Assist six goals with through balls. Four Irish players in your starting squad. Play 14 matches with four Irish players in your starting squad and win eight matches with four Irish players in your starting squad. So this is actually quite a bit. Again, you look at these two and it's 18 matches you need to play. So that's 18.36. And plus your 14 is actually 50 games and manage your masterpiece. That is, that is absolutely daunting, guys. But anyway... We get a Horgan, we get a Hendrick, and we get a Connolly, guys. So that is the three Irish players that you get access to for completing this. We will have a look at them on Footbin. Let me just load them up. So that's me got the modded up. So that's cool. Um, so some Patrick's Day Foundations, guys. Um, in terms of ASBCs, better load that McGiddy up as well. Megiri, Megiri. That's Megiri loaded up, so we'll look at him. And then there's the team of the week as well, guys, so that's cool. So, in terms of SPCs, live SPC, Cavani's still there, 82 88 plus. The silver and bronze upgrade are absolutely crucial for my club in terms of the grind that we have on the go. Fox in the Box was last night. Uh, Sarah, I keep out, uh, keep races them outset, which is a nice kit, which I will be completing at some point. So, we don't actually have any new SPCs tonight, guys. So, it is just a case of going to footbin and looking at the squad foundations and Aid McGeady plus the team of the week, guys. So, oh, wait a minute. Player moments, Doherty. Where is he? Oh, don't tell me they've done this thing that they've done with Tony Cruz, where they drop him on footbin and it takes you about five days to actually get access to him. I don't. He's gonna be. He's gonna be Irish. He, you know, he is Irish, but he's gonna be for St Patrick's Day. So why are they not dropped him the night? Why are they not dropped him the day? Surely they can't drop him tomorrow because it's no longer St Patrick's Day tomorrow. That's that's actually looks like a, a very very good card. Shadow Kemstyle makes him a very nice right back. Four star weak foot as well, which is good. Medium high work rates. Very, very nice card, man. Engine. My engine's actually not too bad, eh? I'd definitely go with the shadow, guys. 100%. But anyway, he's no, he's no in the. Did I miss him? Nah, he's not there. He's absolutely not there. Anyway. So. Team of the week, guys. So this is the team of the week that we have. I'm absolutely so confused to why we don't have Ronaldo, Messi or Benzema. I'm, I'm so, so confused. So when we look at this team of the week, guys, obviously we've got a 93 De Bruyne in there, which is quite good. Tierney's a nice card, obviously, being Scottish. That's a good good to see. Cooper Miners has actually got a very, very good card. Um, so no, we'll, we'll have a wee look at him. We'll have a look at De Bruyne. We'll have a look at Tierney. Where course is absolutely... He's just no usable in this game. Martinez looks to be quite good. A Diego Jota, a Diogo got Jota, sorry. Diogo, Diogo. We're just going to call him Jota, guys, right? Um, I've got a Jota here, so that means that um, his ones to watch will go up as well. Diogo Jota. I always thought it was Diego. Anyway, um, so we'll have a wee look at him as well. I'm sure I grabbed Cooper Miners there. Yep, we did. And then you look at this bench, guys. Politano. I mean, any actual scored a hat trick. So where's Ronaldo? Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, there's that uh, Wamanga Tuka. He's actually really good as a Silver Stars card. Um, Politano there as well, which again, he's just going to be kind of behind the power curve in this game. But anyway, guys, let's have a look at um, Diogo Jota first. So obviously, he's wants to watch is going to go up. It goes to obviously a left wing card, which he is. Um, he's coming out at three hundred twenty nine k, four star, five star, high high work rates, which is nice, solid player trait. He's actually not too bad. I think a hunter, you need to put a hunter on him. I'm sure that's what I run on him. Very nice agility balance. Ball control, dribbling, composure and reactions. All very, very good. It's nice stamina, nice aggression. Passing sucks a wee bit, but with the hunter chem style. Again, he is only maybe one or, another, one or two informs away for actually being a very usable card. Four star, five star. Um, for sure. Dead Eye is actually no bad on him as well, guys. 
get that passing up and that shooting up. And the marksman could be useful as well. But I would go with the hunter to get. He needs that pace. He needs that pace push for sure. A hunter game style on him for me, guys. But it's good to see that he is getting his upgrades finally. Um, right, Cooper Miners, he did have this uh, second gun form. The 84 card was no too bad. This is only coming in at 64k, but he's an R card that is maybe one or two in forms away from being an absolute usable card. Three star, two star, medium, medium work rates, but a shadow chem style on him. He's a very, very good CDM. Definitely needs a pace, even an engine, uh, if you want to use him to bo box to box. Um, Hunter. Nah, I would definitely go with the shadow guys. Get that that, that defending really nice. Physicals are very very good. Uh, agility balance is a wee bit low, but reactions, ball control, composure are very good. Shooting outside of finishing is very good as well, and passing is just very very well rounded. And then the shadow chem style gives them very very good pace. So that is another good team of the week card. As I said, a couple of informs away if you actually being very usable. Now obviously De Bruyne has his 96 team of the year. Um, four star, five star, high high work rates. Um, this is his, is this his first inform? Can't be his first inform. It is, it's his first inform. That's, that's absolute madness. Um, in my opinion, De Bruyne an engine. 95 cam. He's a beast. He has a very, very good card. And he's not going to be too far away from his team of the season card. I mean, his team of the season has three more dribbling, eight more defending, um, seven more physical, three more passing, six more shooting, and four more pace, which is no too far away. Um, a very, very good card. A maestro works on him as well. Um, even a hunter chem style, get that pace and that shooting up. Hunter would be really, really good for him and playing him at cam for sure. Um, I would definitely go with the engine. I feel like he does need the agility balance boost. I would go with the engine, guys. Um, but De Bruyne coming in there, very, very nice card. Kieran Tierney, three star, three star, high, high work rates. Um, obviously, being Scottish, it's good to see this um, for Tierney. A good shadow chem style on him. I would probably go with the anchor, actually. He already has very, very good pace. Dribbling is very well rounded. Passing is not too bad for a full back. Physicals and defending are now very, very good with the anchor chem style. 212k, get a sell a Kieran Tierney. Uh, four star, four star for a Lautauro Martinez. Um, medium high work rates, which is good. He's actually had quite a few in forms. I think that's this is his third in form. One, two, three. This is his fourth in form. Wow. This is his fourth in form, guys. Um, finisher chem style makes him very, very, very usable. Hunter chem style, again, a 94 striker. Probably would go with the Hunter. Nice agility as it is. Uh, dribbling, composure, ball control, reactions, all very nice. A wee bit low in balance, but physicals are very good. Passing is very good for a striker. I would go with the Hunter chem style on this guy. Makes him a 94. He's probably one of the guys that, if I, I did play champs, I wouldn't actually mind getting, guys. So that's no too bad. And then that brings us to the Aidan McGee Day objectives card, the Silver Stars card. Um, you look at him... Very nice agility, very nice balance, ball control dribbling and composure is a wee bit low but we need to remember he is a silver star. His passing is very, very good. Um, he's obviously, his stamina is not too great. I would go with the Hunter. Hunter chem style makes him an 88 left winger. Um, de he definitely needs a Hunter chem style. His dribbling and his passing are more than sufficient enough to be playing in the weekend day in the silver stars lounge, guys. From his base card, he said 19 pace, 10 shooting, 16 passing, 10 dribbling. 18 physical and 6 defending. I, I loved this guy when he was at Celtic, man. McGeady was brilliant for Celtic. Um, definitely a Hunter Kemp style on him. For 3 games, 8 goals and 6 assists, guys. It's not a bad card to add to your Silver Stars club for sure. So, we go to Horgan, guys. He plays for Wickham. He's 4 star, 4 star. He's medium high work rates. He has the finesse, finesse shot trait. From his base, he's had 3 pace, 17 shooting, 18 passing, 13 dribbling, 8 defending, and 11 physical. Um, this is probably going to be the first card you get access to, guys. And when I look at his card, I mean, let's go back to what I said. I said when we were in the milestones in the actual game that I like to see this. I would love there maybe to be like a St Andrews day, so we maybe get three Scottish players. Um, other days of the year for each individual countries. Why can they know they may milestones? And I know I really shouldn't be moaning because there was a few months back when there was absolutely nothing to play for. All the objectives were, were basically drying up. There was no milestones at all. And then in the recent weeks, we've had the the Busy milestones too. We've had the Championship milestones too. And we've now had the St. Patrick's Squad Foundations too as well. Uh, one as well. So I can't really be arguing. But we're in March and we're very, very close to the team of the season. And they're bringing 84 rated cards out, guys. Now, obviously, if this guy was Scottish or if they bring a St Andrews Day um, kind of like foundation out and they were all Scottish, I would be so hyped for it. So I understand any Irish people who play this game will be very, very happy to see this. 
I respect that. But at this stage of the game, guys, this card is just no even usable. Like, I understand people like to, to build, like, fun squads to play with. Um, but this guy, I mean, in general, you look at them, like, in general, looking at the face card stats, they're just, they're just no good enough for this stage of the game. You even look at the, this is the, this is the squad foundation, um, final card you get, and Aaron Connolly for Brighton. Three star, three star at this stage of the game is definitely not good enough. Composure is far too low. Dribbling and ball control are far too low. Reactions is even too low. Rubbish stamina. Stamina is too low. Um, I mean, I just, I just feel like they could be Gina's mayor. Like, why not make him an 87? Make Aaron Connolly a 90? Make Hendricks an 89? Give you something to actually use. We're in March, you know what I mean? But anyway, so we've got Horgan here. Um, for me, Dead Eye makes him an 88 cam. Engine makes him a very, very usable card, but his shooting is just no good enough. Probably go with the Hunter, my, my guys. Just go, with, just go with the Hunter just to get that shooting and pace up, guys. But um, Hendricks... I mean, Hendricks is no too bad. He needs the pace for sure, so he's going to need the Hunter or he's going to need the Shadow, in my opinion, the Shadow. Where the Shadow came style, it makes him a very, very, very well-rounded card. But it's basically in the low end of the, the, the 80s. I mean, you look at them, um, like the defending is only 80 head and accuracy. It's, it's maybe, maybe mid, mid-80s. 86, 84, 87, 84, 84, 83, 85. Mid-80s. Well, very well-rounded in the mid-80s, guys. Um, it does make him an 87 CDM, an 87 centre mid, and an 86 cam. High, medium work rates, 3 star, 3 star, outside of the foot shot. Again, guys, just no really good enough at this stage of the game. And then, obviously, as I said, this is the final group reward. 3 star, 3 star, Aaron, Aaron Connolly. Gonna need to give him a hunter, guys, just to get that pace up. Um, I mean, it's not a bad card. Like they're, they're, None of them are bad cards, but... They're, they just they could just be juicing them a wee bit more for us. That's what that's what I feel. I feel like they could be just making them a, like a bit better. Make him a ninety. Make Hendricks an eighty nine. Make make Horgan like an eighty an eighty six or an eighty seven. Do you know what I mean? Gear's actually usable cards, guys. It's like it's 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 basically like um. Wait till I find it. The objectives. Can I find the objectives? Probably gonna need to go to and search for them. It's like the. The, cha the championship objectives, I'm trying to think of the, um, one of the, the championship objectives. Can I know actually, in fact, I'll go back to the console and show you what I mean. <coughs> it's like the, 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 the championship and the, the Eredivisie division as well. I mean, look at Coiler, it's just no good enough for this stage of the game. Uh, Bundwena is actually no too bad, but you look at en Henry in there and Lerma as well. Again, why not make these guys, why not juice them? Why not make them good? Make him an 87 left back. Make him an 89 CDM. Make him a 91 right mid. Actually, let us get the use of them because you, they're off leagues. Like, it's as simple as that. You look at the championship. What players are in weekend league squads from the championship other than that uh, Other than that, uh, Wayne Rooney? None. Absolutely none. It's the exact same as the Eredivisie. Eredivisie have had a good few players this year, like the, the What If, Leroy, Fair and stuff, that Cooper Merners card that's just came out in the Team of the Week. Some good cards to link it to. But why not make this the Neo card an 87? Why not make this Max card an, 80, an 85, an 86, whatever? Juice it up a bit. There is no many people way um, Eredivisie players in their actual weekend league squad, so it's another off league. The same as this, I know he plays in the Premier League and I know that Hendrik plays in the Premier League, but these are not going to be good enough to get into a Premier League squad or a Weekend League squad. Juice them up a bit. Make Connolly a 91. Give him a 94 pace with 89 shooting, 87 dribbling. Do you know what I mean? Just juice the cards up, guys. But that is my personal view on it. That is what I think about it. Um, I've been saying it for a wee while. I just feel like the cards are very, very underwhelming. I love the fact that the content's there. But they kind of tease us with it. They kind of bring out, for example, St. Patrick's Day. Why, no, why are they not bringing something out every week? Or why are they not bringing something out every two weeks? Like a St Andrew's Day, St Patrick's Day. I don't even, I can't even think of any other days that individual countries have. But why not bring more of it out? Why not bring out... Where's the M Excuse me. Where's the MLS squad foundations? That's still not here yet. Do you know what I mean? What's that going to be like? But I just feel like they, they should just be... They should just be just that a wee bit, guys. But that is how I feel... It's the same as the team of the week, in my opinion. The team of the week, where is Ronaldo? Where is Benzema? Where is Messi? Where are these guys? You know what I mean? It's like, what are you actually doing here, eh? But 
Yeah, I'm not here to complain about the game. I'm here to bring the content to you guys. But anyway, if you are enjoying my videos, guys, please, please, please leave a wee like. A wee subscription doesn't go on this as well, guys. But that is the end of the video. That is as much content as I've got for you tonight, guys. Um, just want to say that I will only be dropping my video until Friday night because I'm working away as of tomorrow morning. So if there is any new content, I'll drop a post on my Facebook page, Amacan10. You can catch me there. Um, but there will only actually be another stream or another video until Friday night, guys. But until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll catch you later. Cheers, cheers.